harmonics that I'm going to demonstrate the MC control and the MC mix for Pro Tools. I'll start with the MC mix. These units are available separately. Um, the MC mix is uh, currently available, and uh, with this, we have uh, control over Pro Tools via the Hue Huey protocol. We have the eight touch sensitive faders, high resolution. We can go through this at one tenth of a dB if we'd like. We've got the touch sensitive rotary encoders to be able to control our pans. At this level, we have some auxiliary set up. We can select that to be able to adjust the levels of our sins. Currently, this project doesn't have them set up, but if we wanted to open up our EQ, for example, on the selected channel here, we open up our EQ, and all of the parameters for the EQ come up on here. Further parameters are available via page fact report. And we have the adjustable gains, frequencies, we select our Q, make something very narrow, sweeper frequencies, give it a little notch, come back out of EQ. We also see that on this channel we have some other inserts. We can call up our bomb factory 1176. And we have control over our ratios, page back, our input, and our output, attack and release. We'll also be able to control our automation from this when, uh, in the next update. We can also assign selected keys. Let's say you want, oh, I'll have to go back to the other workstation, so I'm not going to show that right now, but you would, if you were only working on one workstation, you'd be able to assign selected keys and select, say, the, we want to keep our vocal channel under one, so as we bank back or forth from within, excuse me, If the unit was operating on its own, you could still have the ability to select your tracks, be able to adjust parameters on it, or if you want to track, be able to access our EQ, EQ pops up on the screen, and our parameters are visible on the touch screen on the sides. Back out of that, select our inserts, select our pans, control, bring our attention to another selected track, either via the keyboard or via the touch screen. We also then select our mute, mute out of channel, be able to record arm and solo arm, also on the MC mix. Beneath that we have our soft switches. Soft switches are currently just configured for a couple of tools, but they will be uh, part of an application set that will be developed to give you control over various functions like accessing your eye tool, accessing your grabber, accessing your magnifying glass, switching between shuffle, grid modes, um, those sort of things. Uh, we've also got soft keys. These are already programmed as part of an app set. Go back to the top level. You can see that we have various menu applications. We can look into our track menu, for example, and say that we'd like to open a new track. And we can pop up on the screen, but we'd be able to select the type of track that we'd like. Um, out of that. The type of track that we want, how many tracks we'd like to play, um, and whether they're going to be stereo or mono. We also have the ability with nudging. For example, if I have this region selected here, I'm going to go into the nudging menu. Right now our nudge value is set for a second. I can nudge my audio back and forth. We are working in something post-production and needed to adjust things by single frames. We would just change our values. We change the values to the grades. Nudge values. Going down to one millisecond. They're really fine in there. Um, and also then take the edge selection. Take my grid value. The edge value up again. Be able to adjust the edge. Rear edge. 
of that directly from the touch screen, giving you tons of editing capabilities that you would normally previously have only been able to access on a mouse with a keyboard. Of course, we also have the jog shuttle wheel. Right now, I'm just controlling uh, vertical uh, horizontal zoom or vertical zoom. Another shuttle wheel. Scrub through. We need more jog for the project as we need. And the transport control.